Hi guys, welcome to Clean Browser Daily News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about Apple WWDC. We started yesterday on 5th of June. So let's talk about it. So they really, I mean, they um, announced a lot of items. So let's just start with Apple Vision Pro. And um, I mean, they are finally revealed the Vision Pro headset. The device which lets you partake in both virtual reality and augmented reality experiences. It's designed to combine the real and digital world, both for wearer and those around them. So the primary interface displays iApps over top of the uh, real world for the wearer. Meanwhile, people nearby can see the wearer's eyes through the device from here uh, using an external display feature that Apple calls iSight. I mean, it, it looks cool, and I, I think I'm, I'm, I can see the person's eyes, so I mean, um, looks like it will work. I mean, you can see the person's eyes well, as well. So, the next item they revealed it was uh, Vision OS, uh, which is going to be Apple's new VR operating system. So, let's talk about this one too. And uh, Apple Vision Pro headset will run on a completely new operating system called Vision OS, which is going to be this one. And this allows the device to layer virtual apps and icons atop the real world, allowing you to uh, use eye tracking, your hand, and voice to navigate through the system. And as shown off during WWDC, you'll be able to use Apple's Vision Pro headset to interact with the company's native apps such as Safari, FaceTime, Photos, Music, and all the applications. You can even use the device as an external display for your Mac. I mean, that's kind of cool. Play app, arcade games, watch movies, as well as the capture games. Just like this. I mean, uh, you can open messages, you can uh, open all the applications which you are using on your Mac. So, I mean, that is kind of cool. Even for me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Mac, but um, I mean, this looks really cool. And the next item they released was a bigger 15-inch MacBook Air. So let's talk about this one. In addition to the Vision's, uh, Vision Pro headset, Apple has revealed a, a new MacBook Air with a 15.3-inch display. Before, uh, I mean, they have like 15-inch, but now they are going with 15.3. That's a pretty big upgrade to the MacBook Air lineup, uh, which has only featured a 13-inch uh, display up until now the 15 inches i'm talking about was pro but this air is only 13 inches they only had like 13 inch before but now in air they are releasing 15.3 so i mean that is uh, a big upgrade apple is marketing the device as the world's thinnest 15 inch laptop and it says it weighs just a little over three pounds the device comes with up to 18 hours of battery life mm, nice that is nice 1500 nits of brightness and 100, uh, 1080 pixel webcam. It's cost, it costs around like $1,300 and you can order it from today and availability starting next week. I mean, they um, claim that it's going to be thinnest of all. So let, let's see if it's going to be thinnest or not. And the, uh, the next item is going to be Mac um, Studio and Mac Pro get an upgrade with a more powerful M2 Ultra chip. So let's talk about this one. Before uh, we go further, uh, a quick interruption here. Today's video is brought to you guys uh, by Clean Router. Clean Router allows parents to easily manage all devices in your home and it stops internet pornography. It is um, simple and easy to use and it, is, it doesn't slow down internet at all. It has 7 layer IntelliJ filter. It logs all activity per device. It has time restriction and tons of other features. So I would recommend you guys to check out their website which is cleanrouter.com. Okay? Uh, let's get back to over um, article. So they have like M2 chip now. Okay, so uh, both the Mac Studio and Mac Pro are getting Apple silicone powered upgrades. During WWDC, Apple announced that its latest versions of the two desktop devices will have the new M2 Ultra chip, a component that has an up to 24 core uh, CPU and up to 74 core GPU. So the Mac Studio, which Apple calls a performance powerhouse, uh, will come up with options for either either an M2 Max or M2 Ultra chip. The Mac Pro, on the other hand, features only the M2 Ultra chip as well as the options for PCIe expansion. So um, while the Mac Studio starts at 200, sorry, two thousand dollars, and the Mac Pro starts at uh, 
seven thousand dollars mm. i mean that is kind of expensive don't you guys think so right so the next item they announced was uh, a mental health focused journaling app let's talk about it so apple has a new app for ios and it's called a uh, journal and um, journal application if that's the name of the application as its name uh, implies a journal will encourage you to log your thoughts about recent activities or your trips Apple says the app is secure with end-to-end uh, -end encryption and that, log that your logs are stored locally on your device. The app will arrive later this year. I mean, I'll be waiting for this one. And then the next is going to be iOS 17. It, it adds a new standby display mode and several other features. So let's talk about this one. Along with the new journaling app, Apple revealed a number of new features from iOS 17, most notably, uh, that includes a new standby feature that turns your iPhone's screen into a smart home like display screen where it's uh, tilted horizontally, just like this one. So uh, while uh, charging, I mean, it will be in charge as well as it will be on uh, like home like display and then allowing it to display essential information like time and day. That is kind of cool, right? Additionally, iOS 17 will support a transcription of your voice messages, have a new uh, safety-focused check-in feature uh, that lets you share your location with someone's, uh, someone you're meeting, and come with a name-drop feature that allows you to easily share your email address or phone number with another iPhone user. Oh, um, and Apple's dropping the Hey portion of its Hey Siri trigger phrase. So, I mean, you, you can just call it as Siri in, instead of Hey Siri. That is that is going to be a big upgrade. So, uh, let's uh, the next feature is going to be Apple brings interactive widgets to iPad OS 17. Let's talk about it. So, um, Apple um, iOS uh, 17, I, iPad OS 17, Apple is adding new interactive widgets that lets you quickly access apps and features from home screen. There are also updates for the device notes app, uh, which will allow, uh, now be capable of detecting the fields in a PDF. It also uh, lets you work with other uh, in real time to organize and annotate PDFs. So there. And uh, those aren't the only um, update coming with I iPad OS 17. It will also feature a personalized lock screen, just like an iPhone. And it will finally come with a health app. So this will be the health app. And next gonna be macOS, uh, so Mona gets desktop widgets and death stranding, strandling. Let's talk about it. So Apple announced some uh, visual upgrades to macOS, uh, so Mona, uh, which will now support widgets that you can add to your desktop, along with the new moving uh, screen savers that you can also use as your wallpaper. There are some features for Safari as well, which lets you create and pin web apps to your dock, as well as make profiles of different browsing sessions. As, as well, uh, Chrome is already using that, but uh, I mean Safari just came up with it. So, uh, and also Apple is also introducing a new game mode for macOS that will prioritize the GPU and CPU while gaming on a Mac and offers lower audio latency on AirPods. As part of Apple's push into gaming, developer Hideo Ko Kojima also announced that Death Stranding and some of the other games will arrive on macOS. I mean, if they announce the games on macOS, I will try the macOS, definitely. And next gonna be Apple bring widgets back to Mac uh, watchOS 10. So, um, I mean, let's let's talk about it. As you can see from the above announcements, um, widgets were pretty big uh, this year. That is, uh, I mean, that they are announced as WD, WWDC. So they are even coming to uh, watchOS as well, which you can browse through for an at glance, look at various information by turning your watch digital crown. Apple is also adding several new watch faces and um, a way to measure how much like time you, you spend in a daylight, cycling feature and uh, trailhead information for hikers. I mean, it's not going to be for me because I'm not a hiker, right? So let's talk about the last one. Last one is going to be FaceTime. It's coming uh, for to Apple TV. So uh, let's talk about it. 
Apple will soon let you use FaceTime on Apple TV. The new capability leverages the iPhone's uh, continuity camera, allowing you to use your iPhone as a substitute for a webcam. As you see and chat with uh, people, uh, you're meeting with, uh, from your TV. It will even ensure that you are in the frame using center stage. So that was all for today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked the video and how, uh, what do you guys think of the WWDC which uh, started yesterday. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Clean router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching.